Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of... Doesn't connect, okay. Um, let's try this again, go live. Alright, so we should be live now, sorry about that guys. Sorry if my voice sounds a little scratchy also. Uh, Sorry, you got kind of got sick a little bit, but we're going to be playing Spyro 3 here. Let's go ahead and mute my mic so you guys understand the story of what's going on here. Okay, so for whatever reason we don't have any sound, it could just be another glitch because this is the PC version of the game. And I know this cutscene has sound. I've seen it before in the original. <laughs> so I actually did let's play the I actually did let's play the original many, many moons ago. Those videos have since been removed from my channel, but I do have the original files still. I have to manage to still have the original files still on my computer. I have to upload them to my uh, uh, YouTube account sometime. Uh, probably during as the stream goes. Uh, there is a couple of reasons why I haven't really been streaming a lot, and I do apologize for that. Um, aside from you know not feeling the best and having a lot, a lot going on. So as aside from a lot going on, I also haven't been able to upload anything for my channel either because I have videos recorded, just I don't have the things, the rest of the things I need for editing for it. Like for lower bar libraries, there's a new episode coming as soon as I get the uh, video, or as soon as I get the audio clip for the beginning. But other than that, then I apologize for being kind of like late with everything and being so far behind on everything else i'm gonna try and work to get out the thing better oh so there's no voice lines here so yeah this is the beginning of spyro 3 uh year of the dragon uh just in case the game might be too loud i'm gonna turn on the, the volume real quick here Okay. Yeah, I've just been behind with everything and <clears throat> I'm getting caught up little by little, but I'm here again streaming with you guys. It does feel kinda good to be streaming once more. Especially for the Spyro series. This will be the last of the Spyro series. Because I don't own anything past Spyro 3. Or the Reignite Trilogy, I should say. Because there are games past Reignite Trilogy, like the Game Boy games, and um, Enter the Dragonfly, and A Hero's Tale. Isabel. <laughs> That's the gimmick of this game, is you have to find dragon eggs, which were captured by a mysterious being who we might meet here soon. But, um... Yeah, this will be the end of the Spyro series. I might do the Crash series next. The first three reunited are the uh, Insane Trilogy remakes. You're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look 
here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, Bianca. Okay. Um. So we have everything that we had from Spyro 2. We can glide, we can charge, we can head bash. Uh, and there's money bags over there. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna get the rest of the gems I can for this overworld, and then we'll come back and start level 1. Said so I'm gonna be trying to stream till about 11 tonight, my time. Um, and as far as how completion will go for this game, I'm going to attempt to do all dragon eggs, and then I might turn around to try to do all um, all the skill points, as long as they're easily obtainable within my ability of skill. Because I know that in the original that there were some skill points I didn't manage to get. I didn't even get all the dragon eggs in the original. My original playthrough. It's been a very, very long time since I've seen that series. Or seen my original run of the series, I should say. But I do know it's. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons bench. I just know that my uh, original series is <laughs> terrible. Um, that's why I'm kind of glad I'm out here doing this. So if we break this, we get an egg. But I do remember where most of these are, because on my PlayStation 4 version, I recently had done a full gameplay through. I think I got all the skill points. Either that or I'm missing a couple. I can't remember what all I'm missing and what all I've done. It's, like I said, it's been quite a little bit since I've even hooked up my PS4 again, so... Um, I'm just gonna say. Egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You could dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down charge as well. Okay. This is a sparks area. Spyro, I've gone to task for Sparks. Meet me back here later, Zoe. Okay. So we're not going to piss with that here yet, because we can't. But, um... Just remember that this is that's a thing. That's one of the uh, neat things about Spyro 3, is that they gave Sparks a lot of attention. Um, here's the egg at the bottom of the ocean here. Bruce! They gave Sparks a lot of... some attention in this game, because... He just really wasn't known much in the other games except for being your health bar. Um, I will say that there is one feature in this game that we have by default that is normally unlocked in this game. And it's also available across Spyro 1 and 2, which made them a lot easier for me to play through on my channel. But it's actually Sparks' ability to find gems. Um, in the originals, you didn't have this luxury of being able to have Sparks point out gems that you've missed, and neither in the second one did you have that luxury, but in the third game, you unlocked it as a feature to doing those Sparks levels. We will be doing all of those, of course, like I said before, it'll be a 100% playthrough, or, and I'll try to get all the skill points afterward, because if you try to get the skill points as you're doing the game, it, I get mixed up and lost. Honestly, it's just way too much of a headache. I just prefer to do it all separately. Um, oh yeah, I'm here. Should be all the gems in here. There's a lot of gems in this opal. Oh yeah, there is another whole other section we didn't even check out yet. I don't like how this camera is kind of like so up close and personal, but 
It's also been a little bit since I played Spyro again, as I said before. So maybe it was like this always, and I just kind of forgot. We also did change uh, Sheila there a little bit. She's the kangaroo in the cage next to money bags. Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Yeah, it teaches us how to glide, which we know how to do. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hover. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I almost forgot. I found this egg. All this time you had this egg. Cold train. And adorable little dirty. That's four eggs. Let's go in this cave here. There is a power up at the end, or at the bottom here. Uh, which is for flying. Okay, we'll get a egg. Um, this gem here. God damn, my phone is blowing up right now. <laughs> Gems in this one here. There's this one. I think there's one over here. Yeah. Sometimes forget you can just dash. It doesn't cost any kind of like skill points or or any kind of point thing to you know dash or anything like that. I just sometimes forget you this can do that. This is a super fly power up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Alright, so let's go ahead and fly out of this cave, and I'll go search for the remainder of the gems that I've missed in this overworld. Because I do not remember where the rest are, unless they're on top of this area up here. If I can get up there. I don't think I can get up there, never mind. Okay, Sparks is saying they're this way. Um... Oh, Doi, it's right here. I saw those and I still didn't fucking acknowledge that they were there. <laughs> All right, Boosh. That's three eighty-eight, which means we're missing two gems somewhere. Or maybe more. Seven, I think. I think there's four hundred in this overworld. Some right there and some up there, okay. So we have to be up there. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to if you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Your camera is now in active mode. If you don't like it, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu. Oh, cool. Okay. So we have a bit of a better camera mode now. I'm going to uh, re-enter that cave and get Superfly. And see if I can get up there through Superfly. I think it's how you do that. Like I said, it's been a bit. And I apologize for not knowing that. Off the top of my head. <clears throat> God damn you. Go 
Let's try the other way. I think we can get enough height to get over there. since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me say a small fee if this is money back he's a prick don't worry spyro sheila won't stay in jail forever sorceress is thinking about having her executed next thursday okay so yeah, that's money brag he's kind of a prick um he's he was the one who was if you guys saw ripta's rage playthrough he was the one that charged you guys, charged us money to be able to get the different abilities unlocked in the game. Uh, but in this one, he's locked up some animal partners, which will be leading the rest of them later on. Um, seriously, though, how do you get to those gems up there? Oh, please forgive me. I'm fucking stupid. Um, anyways, he's got all the animal partners locked up right now. Or some of them. Okay, all 400 are found. And you have to pay money back to save, to get them out of their cages. So we'll be meeting the rest of them later on. But uh, for right now, let's get into the levels. Start off with Sunny Villa. So far we found 400 treasures. I do miss the old loading screens where all the treasure would fly out into the chest that was like one of my favorite features of the original Spyro. Oh my, oh my, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious rhinocs have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Okay, so the mayor's been kidnapped. Uh, this level has 400 gems and there are six eggs available to us to get. Um, I said, if you ever need help finding what gems you're missing, um, to refer to that number, or to refer to where you're missing gems at, if you click in your left analog stick, you'll actually, uh, Sparks will point out to the areas where there are gems over that you can collect, or what the gems are remaining at. Uh, this is the rule of thumb in every Spyro game. The blue butterflies are one-ups. And they're always kept inside those glass jars. There's other ways of getting one-ups as well. Sometimes if you kill a uh, fodder animal, like the sheep or the frog, there is a chance that a blue butterfly can pop out. I don't remember what the odds are, because I don't really focus too much onto them unless they absolutely have to have health. But I'm sure somebody out there knows the exact rundown of every odd and in about any kind of given uh, thing in Spyro. Too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the attack button. Alright, so flame the right up. <laughs> that was great. Uh, this guy's gonna eat some meat, but we're gonna flame him before he can. No. Uh there's some gems here. Frog there. It's the fodder animals for this level. Which fodder animals, in case anyone doesn't know, is animals that you like, little creatures that you can like destroy to get butterflies to refill your health with sparks. Another adorable little dragon there. We have six dragon eggs. Glide over here. Yeah, this glide is actually used a lot more than I thought it was. Not the glide, the uh, the little flutter at the end. 
I forget what the hunter called it. It's actually a lot more used than I thought it was going to be, because I always thought I never had to use it that much, but apparently you have to use it a lot more. These trees, I'm not sure if they're really any kind of relevant. Each time a fairy zaps you, like this, it means your progress has been saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. That's always nice to know, or to remember. Just in case you ever get into a pinch, you always go back to your last checkpoint. Sort of like how the cra how in crash with the uh, the barrels or the crates, the one crate, the checkpoint crate, the ones that they legit made into an actual playable character in fucking Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. The one that was teased a lot of us people. A lot of us, uh, the, a lot of those, not us, a lot of those who were data mining the game. I, myself, don't data mine. I don't know how to do that. I'm not technologically smart. <clears throat> Fuck you, giant Rhinoc. Um, so we see this guy up here. Let's see if he has anything to say to us. Okay, we can't dive in here. I thought we could. <laughs> Thankfully, water does not kill us. Thank you for rescuing our town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Sanders. I want to say that's in reference to Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I love that. I thought you'd love that. Um, I think there's there's a gimmick about Spyro 3. Yeah, we're just not getting into that right now. So there's a gimmick about Spyro 3 where a lot of levels have a bonus section dedicated specifically to it. And you're about to meet this one's. Alright, so this is a giant skate park. Are you ready to play uh, Spyro the Dragon Pro Skater? Let's talk to Hunter. Hey Spyro, I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Yes. I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Alright, so we have to catch 15 lizards wandering around the park. So there's one of them. Yeah, you do have to flame prep them. You can do actual tricks on the skateboard. I am not very good at this. Not very good at skateboarding. Uh, but when we're not focusing on catching the lizards, I'll try actually doing some skate tricks. That's two for the price of one. Fifteen. Believe it or not, I actually wanted to skateboard in real life when I was younger. Like, I so badly wanted to skateboard, but I didn't have the money for a board. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't remember if this resets your progress or not. I hope it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. For some reason I thought it reset your progress. I think it did in the original. I could be wrong. As I've not played the original version of Spyro 3 in a long time. I think I own it digitally on PlayStation, my PlayStation 3. But I haven't looked that up in a long while. The very last time I ever hooked it up was to play uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. And that was years ago. <laughs> I've since bought the whole. Uh, I've since bought every game in 
Kingdom Hearts series on the PlayStation 4 remasters. Because Birth by Sleep, uh, the Birth by Sleep remix, I think, is uh, Final Mix. That's what it's called. It's, uh, Birth by Sleep Final Mix is better than the remake on PlayStation 3. Or better, it's harder. I, can't remember. I think it was actually that was uh, one of the bosses was a bit more easy to do on the 1.5 or on the Final Mix version than it was on the 1.5 in the original. I can't remember the exact thing of it. I know that there is a difference between the HD remix and the Final Mix version. And then there's also the the HD version of Dream Drop Distance, which was originally on the 3DS, which I wanted to get a hold of an actual original copy of the game, but they're way too goddamn expensive. Which, I mean... We're talking the original 3DS here, so I guess I can consider that's kind of expensive. Son of a bitch! We're missing three lizards. Um, I think I know where one is. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm very, very great at a skateboarding game. <laughs> um, the skateboarding mini game. There's two more. I don't. I think there's one up here. Yep. There's actually both up here. Thank God my memory is actually somewhat better. I'm starting to come back to this game. I know how to do know some stuff for the skateboarding sections, like I said before. Uh, but yeah, it's <clears throat> definitely been a long time since I've played any like of my old games, like Kingdom Hearts and Mario Odyssey and 3D World. Emily. All right. If you can catch all the lizards before time expires without wiping out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Okay, so we have to do this again. We can't wipe out at all. We have a time limit. So there's one up here. Yeah, I recently started playing, uh, well, I might have, actually, I remember, I think I've already beaten it by the time that this is being done, yeah. I fucking went back and did it. Okay, he just tells you, you know, try again. Um, I fucking beat all, I beat, uh, Mario 3D Land again on 3DS. That was one game I remember very, very vividly because... It was one of the only games that pissed me off more than anything when it comes to trying to complete it. <laughs> uh, there was just a lot of like, like the biggest thing was is what happens whenever you like complete the levels because uh, if you touch the top of the flagpole, you get a gold flagpole status, and then you have to go back and do every level of gold flagpole. Well, you have to touch the very top of the flagpole to get gold flagpole status. That's not too bad. Then once you've beaten all the main levels, you have to go back and do all the special world levels. After you beat this first special world level, you have you unlock the ability to play as Luigi. And then when you beat the special world's final boss, you have to go through all the game again and get every gold flagpole with Luigi on top of having them all with Mario. You son of a fucking cunt! On top of getting them all with Mario... And then you gotta like fucking do this other bonus level that you only get if you got gold flag pulls on every level with both Mario and Luigi. And then the game just ends. <laughs> like the only thing you have left to do is go grab the remainder of all the star coins. Which are these hidden levels. Or these like little miniature levels between hub and the hub worlds. They kind of just spawn in every single day something new. <sighs> Too bad. Maybe you'll do better this time. Go get try this again. Alright, I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more, so 
I apologize if my commentary gets kind of quiet here at times. Alright, fuck you. The purple gem there, thank you. You can go fuck yourself. Shit. Try this again. Oh, the right triggers can shoot plane too. Cool. <laughs> five. I think there's one up there I missed. There's one up here, I know. Straight. I was blowing up my phone. Please leave me alone. Are you? Ah, oh, too bad. So what the fuck's going on with my phone now? Okay. Try this again. Alright. Here we go. Come down here. Playing out with the bastard. That one here. Follow you. Oh, why I can't fucking do this? Usually I can. I know where they all are. I know the freaking, you know, whatever. Get him. Get this one up here. These freaking flying ones are the issue here. Okay, just come back over this way. Guess it wasn't, you know, a good choice to start with this at the fucking started stream. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give a couple more tries, and then if need be, I'll just come back to this later on, either towards the end or like at a later point during the stream series, because I will be trying to. I will, like I said before at the beginning, I will be doing everything the game has to offer. At least attempting to do all the skill points. Okay, I landed perfectly that time. Good. And this way. I think 
right down the middle here. Five left. God damn it! My best attempt so far. This guy, get this guy. Ooh, number three. Let's say that fucking thing crashes me, crashes me again. I swear to God, I will. I'll do something. I just can't say what. Uh, I just don't know what I should say actually. Okay, let's turn this around, try again. Oh, thank God. Okay. Seven. Fucking. Ugh. Just bitching, and I'm like not able to fucking do it, and I don't know why. <laughs> just please this side, please. And there's five. This way should be. <sighs> oh, too bad. Shut the fuck up, Hunter. Okay, that one's on me. I'll take credit for that one. I was trying to turn around and I was just... It was just not happening. Alright. Damn. I got that one before I landed. That was cool. Alright. Here's number four. Number five. I'm gonna come back around and get that one because... If I try to turn around, I will wreck, and I will end up fucking screaming. And that'll just hurt my throat even more than it already, already hurts. Right, fuck you, that's six. <sighs> Barely missed him. It's fine, he's not one of the annoying ones. It's eight. Here's love potion number nine. I would say mighty number nine, but uh, that game kind of failed. Okay, that's that's gonna piss me off. I'm doing this one last time here.
my up. Seven. That's eight. All right, fuck you. I'm done. Aww, too bad. Well, whenever you. We'll come back towards the end of the episode or something. I, I'm not gonna keep trying and keep getting in my, getting even more theory, getting even more of a headache, getting my throat even more irritated than what it already fucking is. It's not worth it. We showed those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. Okay. So, is there anything else we can do in this level? Those are skating two, and then two more eggs after that. I think I know what the eggs are, and they might involve the skateboard. And if they do, then then I'm just no. <laughs> this has gone off a little rockier than I thought I was going to start off at. Let's just go rescue Sheila. Take care of your Bias Nias. Keep Sheila in there, yeah. But from what I think, you're not going to tell free Sheila. Well. I love your sweet naivete. Your kind hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being, it's making me rich. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Bye. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Huh. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Okay, so we unlocked uh, Sheila's Alp. <clears throat> this is a this is a special level where its gimmick is that you get to play as Sheila. It's a pretty short level, and it's a lot easier than that you know skateboarding bullshit we had to deal with just a little bit ago. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hi, Sheila. While you were gone. A bunch of rhinos kicked us out of our houses. It's okay though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Okay, so as Sheila, the fodder animal is those birds. I don't want to solidify my theory on what kind of what kind of bird it was, but those birds. Um, Sheila has a double jump, and then. She has an effect that when you land, if you press A just as she lands, you get a uh, another jump, like a high jump. Really neat. Uh, she also does have a, uh, a a bash ability, kind of like Spyro's head bash. And all the uh, animal partners do use sparks of the health system, just so everything stays uh, equal to everything. So there's no like confusing extra little bits here of what changes, rather than everything just your controls and who your character is. Ah, home at last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelet, but I think you deserve it more. Ruby.
we are in this cave here. I don't think we have to do anything with the water. Bastard. I've never actually dove onto those rocks before. Every time I've ever jumped up there, I just kicked him out of the way. Um... Son of a bitch. Alright, so he's got a rock in this way of his house. It's a weird effect on this character. This might be just me from playing Spyro like two and three more than I did the original, but is it just me or does Tom Kenny feel a bit more natural to be the voice of Spyro than the guy who did Rocco? Like, not saying it was bad or anything, just I think Tom Kenny is more associable to Spyro than really anything else besides maybe Spongebob, but that's because everyone fucking knows Spongebob. It's been around for, you know, God knows how long. Fuck you, Rhinox. Alright, so these houses, I believe, are Rhinox spawners. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna want to destroy these with your hip drop ability, or your bash ability, whatever you want to call it. I sometimes call it hip drop, because that's what was called the original Mario Party. But some people might call it a slam or something like that, or a head bash or something. I don't think it really matters. He was... <laughs> it was glitched on the cliff. <laughs> that was cool. Bastard. Yeah. Bash this rock here, get a gem. Uh, bowling. I thought about getting Xbox Game Pass because I recently was watching this guy who does achievement hunter vi achievement videos, not achievement hunter. He does achievement videos where he gets all the achievements in the game, and he did uh, the Game Pass version of GoldenEye 007. I haven't played that game in God knows how long, and I really, really, really would love to play that game again. Although I could just hook up my N64. I have my N64, I, my controllers aren't exactly brand, you know, brand new. And the control sticks just do wear out too damn easy. But, I'm not sure how the controls are on the Game Pass version either is my whole thing. And Game Pass, I think, is a subscription-based thing. This must, this might be the last of the gems. It wasn't. Um, Sparks got us to the rest of them. Down here. I seriously love this feature. And I love how they gave it to you by default because <clears throat> It would drive me insane not knowing where these were until very, 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 very late game. Like, this is end of the game ability of uh, ability thing you normally get if you played the normal, uh, the original Spyro 3. But they were nice enough to give it to you by default at start on all three games, even though it was only ever in Spyro 3 originally. Okay, so it says it's past the house, which means it might be on the other side here where we were before. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, his the Sparks' hints are kind of vague. It just tells you a certain direction. It doesn't tell you exactly where. Which I think would be a bit more helpful. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pod menu and select control. <laughs> oh, there's actually a thing for the controls. If you... Okay. So I don't really have to explain all these to you. Oh! Idiot. I didn't check up here. Stomping target this achievement. This should be the last of the gems. Oh, right here. I was like, where the fuck would they? Uh, where the fuck else would they be? This is everything. All right, so that's 100% of Sheila's level there. Let's return home. Just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? <laughs> Alright, so we got some interaction with Bianca there. That's kind of cool. So we're going to head on to Cloud Spires because I'll I'll do the skateboarding thing in another episode, or if the YouTube comments feels justified enough, I'll just um, do it off screen because like legit, I was going to get really really bad if I kept going the rest of this episode it doesn't help them I don't feel well but I really 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 wanted to stream again it's been too long okay so these guys have a gust of wind attack oh they're citizens <laughs> Can't believe I saw with the play thinking it was like some kind of enemy or something. It's not attacking me. You could say it is it's like program's not working or something. It's it is the PC version, it's a bit broken. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across you. Right, because I don't know why the PC version is so like it runs really well decent enough, I guess you could say. I don't want to say it runs the best out of any of the platforms because I don't personally know. I don't personally give a flying fuck as long as I'm able to play the game. It's good enough for me, but the PC version does have its issues. Like, for instance, I couldn't finish Spyro 2 because there was that one section uh, <clears throat> in the game where I had to turn the game down to 30 frames per second because it was glitched to not function properly at 60 frames. Uh, let's use this thing carry us up here. We're going to glide across this area. Yeah, I'd like to do the insane trilogy once this is all done. I plan to do the insane trilogy probably because one of my friends at work suggested I do it. 
I'm just not sure what I'm gonna like if I'm gonna go for like all the gems and shit because I mean I'm probably gonna at least attempt to do 100% if I can but I will not be doing the relics in one uh in Crash 1 and 2's remakes because they're not in the originals and they're not like a uh a requirement for game completion status. They're just kind of there if you really hate yourself and want to try to, you know, get all the relics. With that being said, when I do do the original, when I do do the Insane Trilogy, which I'll bring this back up when I do start it up, I will be doing the bonus levels of Future Tense and um, Stormy Ascent, but we'll be doing that when the time comes. be handling that I mean when the time comes I just gonna actually try to complete them myself on my off time because I've never actually beaten either level of course I'm not good at crash or video games in general anyway but that's besides the point but they are difficult they are meant to be difficult so I can kind of see why they're not really done yet either if you want to use that excuse for me Uh, let's get these gems here. Money bags. Well, well. If it isn't my favorite dragon, the sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted. Counting gems. Sure, whatever. Oh, yes, precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. <laughs> I do like these little guys, these enemies here, dude. Like. <coughs> Doing little opera things. Your longest ride. Press the jump button at the very top of your jump and use the option button to hover at the end of your glide. Okay. I didn't even need to use the action button for that one. I didn't think we did, but I wasn't sure. Oh, you activated the bellows. Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Okay, so we can actually dissect this level now, but there is another little section here we have to do. Oh! Shit, it's this one, okay. Uh, before I do anything with this... Before doing anything with this, I'm gonna go get all the gems. Because it's a lot easier just to get it afterwards, because we're gonna be teleported back to the beginning of this area once we have it done. And I can just turn around and leave. I think we get teleported back, I don't remember. It's not fresh in my mind, as I've said it multiple times before. Um this here. I don't know why I'm so bad aiming with my charge. It's like right there in front of you. Just 
stupid. Uh, these, these. I think there is some around the pot too, or in the pot, or yeah, around the pot, not in the pot. There's some around the pot as well, which we're gonna jump up there real quick and grab. I'm not sure if flames can hurt you, but I'm not gonna risk it either way. Damn it. on top of the pot but there is nothing up there okay i think i grabbed all the gems in this area which means we can get this sunsy thing started first one's always easy So it's this third one in here real quick. First try. It does want me back to the beginning, just like I thought. <clears throat> okay. So there are some more gems that we have not collected yet. Which are up here. Oh! The egg thieves are back. Alright, these guys, I think we're in Spyro 1? I don't remember them being in Ripto's Rage. They might have been in Ripto's Rage, I can't remember. That's been at least a year ago <laughs> since I played that again. Okay, let's come here. Alright, so when we're not focusing the gems, we're gonna focus on the thief, wherever he went. Right here. Gems over here we forgot. Fuck you. And there's a mission up here for us. We usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn, but these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. I had to super fly to destroy the mischievous, the mischievous shadow. How did I... It's 
swear I'm not this bad in this game. Here we go, first try. <laughs> I'm just gonna use super fly to get to the middle platform. Grab all these gems here. And then super fly my way out. Uh, how did we get up there? That's not how we get up here. Or get up there, I mean, this is the biggest back to where we just were. Uh, this wind's over there. Oh, right here. I think this is it right here. No? The actual fuck? There's more gyms up there. Maybe it's this way. No. Oh. This game rewards you for exploration. I forgot about that. Okay. No. Uh, that's fine, because I'm right where I wanted to be. wanted to stop me. All the dragon eggs. And we're missing gems still. Right there. Now they're over here. We're over here, okay. How did I miss that? Sorry, I'm literally just <coughs> out of it today, okay. 
got about another 40 minutes. I think I have enough time for one more level. Okay, I have enough to open this door. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. I remember this one taking forever for me to do on the original playthrough, but I think when I revisited again during Reignited, I actually did manage to do it relatively faster and easier. Not sure why, though. Although. Yeah, this is the level I thought it was. Um, we will not be able to 100% this area until a little later in the game. But just know that we will be coming back to finish this up at a, later, at a different time. Nope, no weapon for you today, bucko. So these slug things are your fodder animals. Uh, there's these flowers here. Ooh. All right, I can only charge these guys. There's an egg and a gem down here. You can skip the egg animation until you press the A button. I'm not sure if we've already seen all the egg animations yet, because I know that some of them are unique, and then a lot of them just kind of repeat. Okay, I'm only coming back here because I think there's a flower and maybe some gems I missed over here. Aside from this block chest. Because get that we need to get a we need to find the key I think I know where the key is I think we can get it on this playthrough without having to come back of course but we do have to, like I said we will have to come back to this area again anyway so be sure to keep your friend sparks the dragonfly healthy Spyro <coughs> force a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly You. Oh! If we had a fodder animal there, or else we would have been a tiny bit fucked. There's a key. We can get on this playthrough. Cool. So there is one thing I did forget to mention when it comes to sparks. If you do get hit enough times to lose sparks. Um, he's not able to be, he's not going to be there until you either die or you destroy a fodder animal to get a butterfly back. Or unless you pick up a one-up, a one-up butterfly. Without sparks, your pickup range is as close as Spyro can get to them. Like right now, I can only get it if I walk up right on it. Missed the uh, gym there. Uh, let's go up here. If you guys can tell us to beat the level. Here, take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. As I said before, we'll be able to beat this level because 
Um, you don't have Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission to inside of this cage. Tough luck, the sorceress. So yeah, there are little signs that do kind of like point out the fact that you do need this particular character to finish this section. Spider, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for a small finder's fee. Only 300 gems, okay. Thank you, Spyro. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Alright, so this is actually a kind of a fun part. There is a, uh, a skill point in this area as well. I think. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. We still have all our gems up to this point. And we get sparks back. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the level. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can get through that way. I'm pretty sure you can get through it this way. I wasn't jumping high enough, apparently. So we're going to go back here real quick and grab this lock chest. Give this an achievement. Right, we're not going to try to do any kind of like risky moves again. Because we can't really actually afford to do either. It, it either. Alright, All right, we'll have to die to do this. Yep. That's fine. Like I said, we keep all our gems and everything like that. And we die. Um, and we're right where we were going to go anyway. I knew it was going to be a death port, but I was testing you guys to see if you, know, you guys would know. <laughs> Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Why well, the dragon looking for all these eggs? I don't know. Does the Pope shit in a funny hat? Let's, Let's go. These eggs, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta remember where the skill point fall is. Because I know that what happens is you have to do like a charge into a wall. But I can't remember which wall it is. I think I think I see it now. Yep, right there, okay. So, we have to catch the first egg thief in order to even get to the point where we can charge into that wall. But... That's just a minor set. I think I got all the gems, except for what's in the... Okay, what's, except what's in the track, what's in the locked box. Alright, so the banded chest here, we're gonna only get if we have super flame or a supercharge. Either way, the gimmick that unlocks those chests will always be available to you in the level that they appear in. So don't ever like question everything too hard because you'll have everything that you need to know for that particular mission at that given point. So let's keep running until we catch the sake thief here. Doing the charge, but it's not fast enough, I guess. Almost. I 
It's not that hard to catch this fucker. It's not. There we go. Just takes a little bit. <laughs> uh, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Cool. Okay, so <clears throat> the track is now supercharged. And the only way that we and the way that we activate it is pressing the charge on it. And as we run, we get progressively faster. Yeah, so this was the supercharge ability that was present in Ripto's Rage. Yeah, I think Ripto's Rage had him. Yeah, it did, because there's that one section we gotta, like, run through that hut, the spiders. There's also, like, a second run through you have to do with it with enough enemies in the gates to get the super flame. Remember now. Pretty sure that was Spyro. I pretty sure that was Ripto's Rage. I don't think Spyro 1 did any of that. I could be wrong. I know Spyro 1 did have the Super Flame, though. <clears throat> it's a very end of the game reward if you got everything else in the game before you got up there. And I actually went fast enough to surpass him. Uh, let's just re. Try this. Yeah, there he is. Faster. What the fuck? Okay. Try this again. <laughs> Seriously, I'm never this fucking bad at this game. I swear to you, I'm not. Into that wall, I could probably catch up to this little. This little stinker. For some reason, I was getting supercharged when I wasn't even on the track. <laughs> hey, that was an accident. Okay, Bane the chest is right there. And this wall we have to destroy is right over here. So we have to go. Uh, let's do a big loop de loop. Skill point acquired. And a free life. Sparks says that the rest of the gems are out here. I think the remainder of the gems are actually locked behind Sergeant Bird's thing, so we might actually be good for this level now. Yep, they're all locked behind Sergeant Bird. Okay. Uh... 
I got enough time, I can probably do one more level for this video and stream. Uh, forward to this guy. Yay! My portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. At the beach. Woo! Oh. Okay, we're already in the underwater level. This isn't actually all that bad. There is a water level later on that does get really irritating, but for now, this one's actually bearable. And the best part is we don't have to worry about it yet. Humor in their actions and stuff my friends in the jail cell behind you. Uh, there is a thing later on, or it actually is one of the really nice thing about these water levels is that you don't actually have a like limit to how long you can be underwater, which is awesome. Like, that's what made water levels somewhat like kind of shitty in older platformer games because you had a certain amount of time you can be underwater. Whereas in this one, it doesn't matter how long you are. Uh, I think some Rhinox also carry gems, so if you're not have any gems, just make sure you wouldn't kill every enemy in the level. Yeah, Rhinox do carry gems, cool. I remember! And I saw some earlier, but I wasn't sure if that was from Rhinox. Whatever. Uh, what's in this? Just some gems in here. Oh, there's life in here. Also, the thing about lives is that no matter where your sparks is at, you'll always be at full health when you click the life. So your fodder animals are those little scuba ducks. If you want a quick summary of your progress in the world, you can press the guidebook button to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. Just the pause button. Sometimes the shells can hold enemies. Just charge into them and it destroys the shell. Okay, so this is a really fun little thing there. To kill the other guys, you just pretty much have to shoot the barrels back at them. I think you can flame them and they'll also die, but the barrel is a bit more fun. You just charge into the barrel and they die instantly. Because the barrel flies back and hits them. No. Yeah! Okay, so you can't flame them if you can't hit the barrel in time. You can just flame them. Find up a flame. Uh. <clears throat> just grab all these gems. I don't think the water has any gems. The water does have stuff. It's because I saw bubbles when I got nearby. There's an egg. So let's get this guy here. I think there's one more down here. Nope. Must have just saw him and thought there was more. Fine. Jars over here. It's a bit faster to probably dive and fly back up, but I don't want to give people watching possible motion sickness. So if you do have that ability to be able to get motion sickness or like vertigo, 
it's probably not recommended if I watch this. I might throw a thing a warning at the beginning of my YouTube upload and from future uh, streams forward I will put a warning for Vertigo because I do the camera does get kind of like fucky and it like fly it pans around and might cause motion sickness. I don't want anybody getting sick because of me. So screw you. Uh no. Yeah, the barrels don't auto, don't always hit. You have to angle them to kind of be right down a straight shot. Hit that thing, get some more health. You can hover to get more distance when gliding. Just press e They tell us this like every fucking level. Like you don't like we don't already know how to do that or something, you know. I mean it's nice to have a reminder every here and there because maybe you don't play the game as sequentially or as often as some others do. And maybe you just kind of forget after a little bit. That's all the other possible, but even then you have the controls in the controlled menu. Uh, this section requires Sheila, which we do have, thankfully. So we can 100% on this run. Some of my steel friends are trying to take down a Rhinox fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Alright, so Sheila can go in the water. I don't know if she can dive or not. I don't think there's really anything in the water anyways. But we're gonna, we're gonna double check at the end just to be safe. I think we're done with all this. Stomp on the turret before the bombs explode. We only really need to hit the turret, so let's just do that. That makes this a lot easier. Oh, we'll go back and kill all the other guy, kill the guys once the fortress is cleared out. Go ahead and grab the gems here. Get some fodder. Oh, that's a life. Like I said before, the lives are very random within those fodder animals. I don't know the exact odds, it doesn't matter anyway, but just know you can get lives out of those things. Alright, so Sheila can't dive. It's Nice to know that we don't have to worry about anything underwater now. She probably can, I don't know how deep that water is. Okay. Just came back from that way. This is the way we need to go.
kind of little gems down here. There is a subsection there we have to go take care of. Screw you, Octopus K. Skill point. I'm not sure what skill point that was, but I'm not going to, you know, question it. <laughs> uh, let's talk to this guy here. The push ball, though. What's going here? I used to have a dragon egg for you, but instead I used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. Oh, okay, it's. Okay, this one's a bit of a pain in the ass. But, we're gonna try it and see what happens. Oh. Okay. That one was just a bad try. Let's try this one. You capture that egg. Yeah, he told me that before we even started, and I somehow still managed to avoid it. I just like to hear the sound of his voice. And, of course, I hit that stupid ass mine right there at the end. Alright, those first two didn't count. Those first couple didn't count. This is the real attempt here. Um, Okay, I lied to you. This is the actual attempt here. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I know. You had to be everywhere. Now. You got to be here. It's not honestly this fucking hard. I don't know why I keep missing. Go in next time, Ted Fucker. Gotcha, bitch. This egg has surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg shaped. <laughs> okay, that's it for that section. <laughs> okay, there's a few more gems I gotta 
want to grab real quick. For some reason, there's still some eggs we haven't gotten. I don't remember what else is left for egg-wise. The game will tell me. Did eat the shark sub? Oh yeah. We might have to come back to that later, I think. I can remember where the shark sub section is. I can't wait until the Rhinox builds a new submarine. Next time it's my turn to drive. Here's another subsection. Phone oh, keeps going off. Uh, did I explore this part? I'm pretty sure I can do the shark sub right now. I think. I just gotta remember how to get to it. That's the Sheila section. Uh, I didn't go up. I think this is the shark sub. This might just be some extra gems. Yep. Okay, this is the shark sub section. Shark sub section. Ludo the Rhinox has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarded. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing these kitchen patrols. What do you think? You want to take on Bluto? Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. Alright, A to speed up and B to fire missiles and pick up crates if I get more missiles. So I will put a warning here that this is going to get like pretty motion sicknessy because of how fast we have to be traveling. Alright, so we do have to come back. Or we will be coming back to this area like shortly after we defeat the we have to defeat Bluto. Fuck you, that was first try. Ah, that's the first time Bluto has ever lost. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Okay, let's 
back up here. Grab these, and then there's more in the pool area here. Oh, there's some underwater in this area. I didn't think they were in this area here. Seems too crowded down here, but there were some jars in here. At least I remember to get those before I got too far off. Had to come back, you know. <laughs> Uh... <clears throat> I think those all the ones underwater, so I think that's are on dry land. Let's figure it out here. So the rest are outside of here. Down here. Oh, at the bottom of this area here. This way. Oh, you can glide up there. I didn't know you could. I didn't think you could. I think you can. I gotta go to the very top here and try it. Yeah, you can get up here, okay. I never would have crashed that submarine if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll. Still have everyone of them? Hop to the secret cave. That's in Sheila's section. Okay, so when we do this thing with Sheila, we'll, we'll be done. 
the stream. I know it went on a little bit longer than I anticipated. I'm sorry. I'm just... Yeah, you can start. Okay, right here. This one I have to go very far and shoot this section. That's all six eggs. And this should be the last of the gems. 400 gems, yep. <clears throat> That's it for real this time. Thanks if you came to the stream. Thanks if you watched the video. That means a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. We're hopefully I'm feeling a lot better.